copy effect uses only one transistor, a capacitor, a potentiometer, a resistor, an LED, and that's about it. Five or six components. Got it hooked up to my uh, salvage printer power supply. Hooked up to a L2956S module, which is a buck converter. Got it pumping 12 volts into the power rail here. And this little mini potentiometer right here, which I actually took out of a servo, is how you adjust the flash rate. Or you can change the capacitor that you see here. It's a thousand microfarad. This is a speaker I made just for the breadboard use. Um, I it came in a headphone. I uh, desoldered the headphone wires and took some uh, cut LED lead snips and soldered them to the leads on the speaker. Now it's a breadboard version, um, which I'll show you in the next video. Kind of makes a metronome using this Isaki effect.